If you claim you want me, it ain't no that you acting kinda shady. What's up, YouTube? It's Unique Trent, and I'm back with another YouTube video. So as you can see by the title, I'll be giving you guys 15 plus college tips that you must know before going because, y'all, it's a lot of stuff that ain't nobody tell me that I had to learn on my own. And, of course, you just it just be stressful just because nobody told you. So I'm here to tell y'all and let y'all know a few things that I didn't know when I first went to college. So, yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into this video. But before we get into it, let's... Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and press the notification bell so you know whenever I post a new video. So, yeah, let's just get into it because I don't want to make this video too long. So, yeah, because y'all know I can talk. So, anyways, so the first thing is learn how to study because, y'all, if you don't know, if you don't learn how to study, y'all, it's going to be a rude awakening because in high school, you probably ain't had to study that much or you probably ain't had to study at all. But when you get to college, it's a whole different ball game. You're getting a bunch of information at once and... Yeah, just make sure y'all on y'all A game when it comes to studying. Make sure y'all find y'all a quiet place to study because that's really important. Because we do have like midterms and yeah, tests all the time. Okay, another one is y'all do not take them frat dudes serious. I'm just being honest. I didn't experience that, but I know friends that did, of course. And but they didn't take them serious, though. They knew not to take them serious. But I'm just here to let y'all know, do not take them serious. They here to have a good time. Just to freaking... No, they don't want to lock in with you, for real. Or at least know their intentions. Figure out their intentions first, because most of them, is, they just... They do not want to be in a serious relationship, for real. Okay, number three. Get your work done before partying. Please. And I'm going to tell y'all, go out though. Please go out. Have a good time. Y'all going to need to because college is stressful. But before you go out, go out get your work done. It's going to save you a lot of stress. Because then, boom, you come from a party and you be like, oh, dang, I got an assignment due in the morning. I got, let me hurry up and do it. Like, don't nobody got time for that. Just, just get your work done ahead of time. Because yeah okay another one is stay involved so like organizations little like groups like all of that just stay involved because that's how you make what well, us yeah kind of like how you make some of your friends or whatever so yeah just try to like be open to meeting new people and stuff like that because yeah i met some friends and i love them period <sighs> um next thing which is number what five um major in something that you know you're gonna be passionate about which so i know it's okay to like change your major and stuff like that like i know a lot of people change their major a lot but by the time after you get to your junior year you actually gonna have to be in your your actual major major like you know so i just feel like major in something that you're passionate about make sure you know you're gonna want to do it and all that because then you're gonna be changing your stuff Back to back to back until you figure out what. And I know, honestly, at 18, you don't really know what you want to do for the rest of your life. Well, some people do, some people don't. But, like, you know, like, some people, like, mature slower than other people. So, like, they don't know what they want to do when they first freaking go to college. That's why I said it's okay to uh, change your major because I even changed mine once. I mean, no, I changed mine once and I was going to change mine again, but I didn't. So, Yeah. Okay, another one is don't be ashamed to get a tutor. Y'all do not be ashamed. I had to get a tutor and it actually helped me a lot. And I actually plan on getting a tutor this year too. Um, because some of the classes, they can be really hard. And then like depending on how your teachers teach as well, like it can be difficult for you to like remember the stuff that they're teaching you. And that's, of course, that's why you got to study. But like it can just be hard to understand in general. So... Yeah, do not be ashamed to get a tutor. Everybody get tutors, in co especially in college. Like, in high school, I'm not going to lie, I wouldn't be able to put my pride to the side and get a tutor. But in college, oh, I'm going to get a tutor. Like, don't matter. Okay, the next one is take your GPA serious. Please take your GPA serious because it's going to save you a lot of stress. Because if you get your GPA down, it can get to like a 2 point something. Then, boom, you got to worry about bringing it back up. Because you can get on freaking probation if um if your GPA get below a certain, you know, number or whatever like that. So, 
just make sure make sure y'all taking y'all GPA serious and don't like four credit and three credit classes matter the most make sure y'all getting high grades in them classes because those classes are the ones that weigh your GP da GPA down a lot if you don't do good in those classes okay another one is don't get a job unless you really have to um I just wouldn't recommend it because this is just like another thing that you got to worry about going to work like Especially like, okay, your first semester, at least your first semester, don't get no job unless you have to. Because it's going to be a lot. I didn't even get a job my first semester. My second semester, I did. And I'm probably going to have a job for the rest of my little college career. I ain't going to lie. But, yeah. I say, y'all, do not get a job. Don't get a job. Look at me, y'all. I keep messing with my hair like, let me stop. But anyways, let's keep going. So, another one is... Well, I already told y'all, go out. Make sure y'all go out. I swear, y'all gonna need that. Which I already explained that to y'all already. So let's just continue. Okay, do, if you staying on campus, do not bring your whole wardrobe. I swear, you are not gonna use all that stuff. You are not gonna wear all that stuff. Like, it's gonna be a waste and it's gonna be a waste of space. It's just gonna be in the way. So don't do it. Please do not do it. Unless you don't got that much stuff. But if you got a lot of stuff like me, don't do it and then it's just so hard trying to move your stuff out like when it's time to move like back home and stuff like that it's, it's a lot and then I had to like start moving my stuff out ahead of time like little by little because I knew it was gonna be like a lot moving my stuff in so yeah another one is um try to keep yourself up like try to keep your keep up with yourself because like try to keep your hair done your nails done stuff like that like that's really gonna help with like self-care and stuff like because depression is real y'all just make sure y'all keeping y'all mental straight like all of that like college i'm not gonna lie it do a lot to you if you're not in the right headspace like y'all really gotta focus on yourselves um and also like reward yourselves like so if you do good on the test like you study for it and you do good on it Go buy yourself some more. Go get your nails done. Go just do something for yourself. Go out to eat. Stuff like that. Like, do not just stay up in your dorm and not do nothing and with your door shut. Like, that's the worst thing to do. Me, personally, that's what I think. Okay, so another one is communicate with your professors because nine times out of ten, if you communicate with them, they'll try to figure something out for you if you're not doing some like if you're not doing good in the class or something they're gonna try to help you but closed mouths don't get fed so if you don't open your mouth up and try to you know communicate with your professors then it's nothing they can do about it because they never gonna know that you're struggling or that you need help so yeah another one is have discipline so honestly okay so if you stand on campus this is really for y'all get up for class y'all mamas and daddies is not there to freaking tell y'all to get up for class so y'all need to make sure y'all get up for class because that all relies on you if you don't get up get up for class because your teacher is not your teach i mean professors see look i'm still not out of saying teachers but your professors is not gonna care like that's some of them away on your grade some of them it don't but that's on you if you missing out on the work that you need to know okay i got three more y'all um so the next one is make friends in your classes because it's gonna help you a lot especially if you got like online classes or something like that y'all can make a whole group chat and just ask y'all questions up in the group chat y'all can help each other or like if you make one, just one friend if if you don't know something they gonna know it. if they don't know something you gonna know it like it's just like it's just convenient honestly so, and then also, like, y'all can study together. Like, it's just very convenient. Um, so, another one is try to, budget, but, uh, try to budget your money if you get a refund check. Because, especially if your parents ain't really helping you like that. Or, just in general. Honestly, it don't even matter if your parents not help you. Try to budget your refund check because it's going to help you in the long run. Like, with... Like, say, for instance, if you need self-care stuff or if you need to go buy tissue or something like that, all that, you can rely on that with that. But don't go spending your money on dumb stuff and try to go buy yourself clothes and go on a shopping spree or all that. Honestly, I'm not going to lie, though. If you do get enough money, though, buy a car. I think that's smart. Buy a car. That's, like, a really good investment. Or, shoot, if you want to call that investment. Yeah. 
And last but not least, ask questions. And that goes just like, it's just all around. Just ask questions. And that to ask questions to your friends, anybody on campus, your professors, your advisor, anybody. Just make sure you ask questions. Don't hold nothing back because you ain't never going to know unless you ask. So, yeah, that's really all I got for y'all. And I didn't want to make this video too long. But, y'all, this is the first freaking back to school series video. Of course, y'all, I'm doing a little back to school series. So, make sure y'all stay tuned for the rest of my little, not little, period. But, <laughs> make sure y'all stay tuned for the rest of my videos. Because I got a lot of videos planned for y'all for the back to school series. And for other stuff, too. But, like... I'm going to tell y'all when the time comes type junk. Like, y'all going to know. So, yeah. Stay tuned, y'all. And I will see y'all in the next video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And press the notification bell if you know. So you can know whenever I post a new video. And, yeah. Bye, y'all.